Um, I think so. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a little ribbing that goes on, um, but that's just. What are some of the ribs that uh, some of the guys did you? What's what are some of the ribs? Yeah, what are some of the ribs? Oh, just little bullshit. Nothing major. You know, put my shoes in the water, or locking up my bag, or some little bullshit. Kurt any? <laughs> no, I don't know. Probably uh, the one, two, three kid. Um, I think. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, yeah, one night I remember Scott Hall. And this is when kid was carrying their bags around, kissing their ass. Um, he. Uh, I think he locked up my bag one night in, in Albany, New York, and I just wasn't really in the mood for it, and him and Scott Hall were both there. And I was ready to kick both their fucking asses, man. I had enough. I'd already snapped. It'd been a long tour. And I told them both, I said, I'll beat your fucking ass right now, both of you, because I fucking hated both of them, and they're both pieces of shit, and I'll tell them this day. Um, you know, guys, there's a time and place for ribbing and joking, and that's cool, but, you know, both of those guys are really scummy type. People, I mean, if you look at them both now, I mean, they're both addicted. They're in and out of rehab. You, you, you see everything, man. Just as Hall was like a wife beater and just all kind. Of, I mean, he had heat with the Steiners. He had heat with fucking everybody. So just not a, neither one of those. Um, just not a good person. Right. Neither one of them, man. Sean, uh, fuck, couldn't stand him. Still don't like him. He's he's another guy. That's his, it's a fucking joke. I know he's there, all the cruiserweights around the world. That's their big hero, man. But they knew the real Shawn Michaels. Um, what is the real Shawn Michaels? Oh, man. Just a piece of shit. I mean, he could fucking act like he's... Now he's all... He's a Christian and he's turned his life around and all this stuff. But, man, he was just an asshole. Um, you know, just a bad person. And, uh, and of course, I'm sure Vince and Pat both probably like to see him in the shower and him pose for Playgirl or whatever he did, so that was great for them, you right. know. Uh, so they probably kept him around for other reasons than just besides his work. Um, but yeah, you know, just not not good. And, you, and the biggest ribs on him because he ended up marrying one of the Nitro girls, which is too fucking funny because she'd made her rounds around the company and then she ends up going up there and marrying him. Huh. And now they got a kid together, so that's even better. Right. So the, the big rib is on him. Are you saying that uh, Vince swings both ways pretty much? Or? You know what? I've heard that from, from people. I, do I doubt it? Absolutely not. I don't doubt it at all. Um, and I don't stay up at night thinking about it either. I really don't give a shit, right. honestly. But, man, I, from, I even just found out he, he has a brother. I didn't even know he had a brother. Hmm. No one's ever, did you know that? No, I had no clue. So what the fuck? I just found that out. So this guy, even his own brother just doesn't acknowledge that he... He he's, he exists, but yeah, huh. I, don't, I don't doubt anything about him. Now you were there when the Click was all together. Obviously, um, memories of uh, the Click together. The Click, yeah. Let's talk about the Click. That's cool. I was the one who named the Click the Click. No one ever fucking knows that. But it was just something I popped out there one day. I think I was traveling with Bob Holly and uh, maybe Pierre. Who else? Maybe this, you know with uh, Billy Gunn and those guys. And I started calling them the Click, and it stuck. Right. It started out with us just knowing, and that's how it spilled over. And then, but yeah, I gave him that stupid little name, and so it, it stuck with him. Did a lot of the other guys not like them as well, as far as yeah, of course, and... absolutely. I mean, it's you know, if you go through the history of this whole thing, yeah, there's a lot of people that didn't like them. I mean, but look at all the shit that they got away with, and of course, Vince allowed it to happen. So that's why I was, I knew that, that was not a company. Um, I knew that's why it was a good thing for me to get out of there. Um, because, I, like I said, my, my base was more in Atlanta, and that's where I wanted to be. So for me to get out of there, um, it, was, it was a good thing for me to get out of there. But, yeah, they got, they got away with a lot of shit. Were you there when they went on strike, allegedly? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let me check. What, what, what's the exact date on that? I can't recall exactly. I think that supposedly they went on strike, some bullshit. Um, and Vince had to come to the, the town. Yeah. I might have been on a, you know, they were running two shows, the A and the B town, you know, at the time. <clears throat> and I was working, I was, you know, semi-main or main event on a lot of those B town shows, working with Undertaker, casket matches all around the loop. And those guys were in different towns. You know, it, it went back and forth. We were so busy back then. I mean, we were working 280 days. Um, so, I don't know where, where I was at when they supposedly went on strike, just because they bitched and moaned about stuff. So and Vince didn't have anything else to to go with at the time. Right. I mean
and he had Yoko and he had Brett. Um, and then, but the rest of it, so maybe he listened to him. I, I don't know exactly. Did you get along with Kevin at all, or? Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, but he, so he had, it's like, he's just like the rest of them. He had his own agenda. Um, so, uh, he was, I'm sure he was just, you know, business to me to my face, but behind my back, definitely listening to Sean, um, and trying to do whatever he could to put himself in a position. I mean, I could think of the times when we were in Europe and stuff, and like Chief Jay Strombo was one of the agents, you know. And having to be on those loops for, you know, because I went seven, eight times to Europe in one year. Um, and just every night listening to Strongbo, and there was Nash, and there was Sean, and, you know, they're listening to Chief and listening to all that bullshit. And Chief's telling them, oh, way to go, Big D, you're having great matches every night. And they're stinking up the fucking place. But, you know, <clears throat> that's what, you know, that was Chief's job is to fluff them up a little bit and then call fence and back and tell them, oh, they're doing great, they're doing great, and it really sucked. Right. But, you know, it's the politics of the business. Would you consider them pretty much backstabbers in, in a way? You know what? I, well, I, I think to really that you've got to be friends with someone before you can, for them really to be a, a backstabber. Right. So, so we were never friends, so I would say no to that question. Gotcha. But I, did I give a shit about any of them? No. Right. Not at all. Did you ever witness any other uh, antics outside the ring as far as their crazy behaviors with Scott and Kevin? Or? Um, really not with Nash a whole lot, but Scott Hall, of course, peeled up out of his mind, staggering and walking up down the hotel lobbies, picking up ugly rats. You know, I mean, huh. just, you know, any stupid. And here this guy was supposedly a family man, married, and he's on the road being a piece of shit. Um, and then X-Pac, same thing. ODing on pills all the time, waking up with his fucking eyebrow shade, which was hilarious. I mean, if you look at some of his old promos, you'll see. Uh, the Nasty Boys did that, right, Tom? Actually, it was uh, Smoking Guns. Oh, okay. So maybe he got it a couple times. Right. But it, from when I was there, the Smoking Guns got him, which was hilarious because the dumbass had photo uh, shoot the next day or so, and there he is with no eyebrows. Huh. Fucking hilarious. So that's, I'm sure those photos are still out there somewhere. You got to work him too, one, two, three, kid. What are your uh, memories of working with him in the ring? Um, working wise, you know, um, it's a little skinny cruiserweight, you know, with a, a really bad face. I mean, what are you gonna do? I mean, you, he's there to bounce around and bump around for me. Could he work? Yeah, he could work. But there's so many other negative things about him that that um, I can't really say. I can't say anything good about the guy. 